If you are a team like the New York Jets that is all in this year, get off your ass and go hire that bleeping coach. Fire Salah, hire Belichick, BT. For them, it's a perfect fit. I don't want to deal with, oh, he's not, Woody Johnson wouldn't want him or Belichick wouldn't want to work there. Nonsense. Bill wants the coach. Nobody wants him. Jets are all in with the veteran quarterback. They have the worst head coach in the league. Go get Bill Belichick. Nobody wants him because he's the most overrated coaching icon in the history of sports. Oh, come that's on. What Bill, I, listen, I, I know that that's very blunt, but that's that's the way it is. I mean, nobody wants him. no, And nobody wants him for good reason. He has not adapted. He has not adjusted with the modern NFL. He doesn't construct good coaching staffs. And let's face it, and Sal, you and I have had this conversation a lot over the last couple of months as as the pa- Patriots languished wherever they languished here. Without Tom Brady, he's nothing. It, it's, it's irrefutable. Come on. He's the greatest head coach that has ever lived. You don't think? I don't want him. You, I, I don't want I, him for the I, Jets. I don't understand that. How? I don't want him. You, I don't you, think he's very good. You have, you have Robert Sala. Well, he's worse. But you're also talking about, I know you love Rabel. This is about Belichick, the most accomplished head coach in the history of the sport. He is available. He wants to coach. You have Aaron Rodgers, a veteran team that is going all in, right or wrong. This is their stupid plan for the next couple years. Go get the best coach in the world right now. He immediately gives you credibility. He immediately brings respect to the organization. He gets you over the top. You can compete with Bill Belichick. He's the guy. Phil Jackson without, I don't know, MJ and Scotty, not much. Phil Jackson without, I don't know, Kobe and Shaq, not much. Popovich without, I don't know, Duncan and Robinson and Kawhi, you know, not much. I mean, all right, but but name a head coach who's who's been great without anything. Well, I'll tell you somebody who's been pretty damn good without somebody like Tom Brady. That's Mike Vrabel. I mean, the guy won thirty three games in, in in three years with with Ryan Tannehill. Yeah, nobody's knocking down his door either. Well, because they, they, that that's the wrong move. That that's a miss. That's oh, foolish. But Bill Belichick. So, uh, by the way, where do you think Vrabel learned how to coach? Well, so. Oh, he came up through Belichick. I, I, I mean, come that. on. I, I, but listen. Tom, you wouldn't want Bill Belichick no, for the Jets this year? He is Dude. the most overrated coaching icon in any sport. If the Jets, and you know how I feel about the Jets. In, first of all, I love Aaron Rodgers, and I do think the defense is overrated, but I still think they have a shot to be a competitive team next year, right? If everything goes well. When yeah. does that ever happen? Yeah. If they get Bill Belichick, that's a game changer to me. A game changer. I give them as good of odds as anybody in the AFC to get to the Super Bowl with Bill Belichick. Their biggest issue right now is they have the They employ the worst head coach in the league. Anybody would be an upgrade, but you could go from worst to first with hiring Bill. I don't understand how you don't like Bill Belichick. Uh, Well, I I don't trust him without Tom Brady. It's not about liking or disliking. It's about judging who he is based on several different layers of merit with Tom Brady without. Now, again, you are right. The other coaches, if you take away those players, they're, they're not quite the same. I understand that. You know, Pat Riley without magic. I'm not sure he's Pat Riley, but... You need to understand this, and if if you tell me, if I'm missing something, tell me. 20 years with Tom Brady, which, by the way, the Dolphins sucked, the Bills sucked, you know the Jets sucked most of those years, 249 wins and 75 losses, 17 division titles, six Super Bowls. That's with Tom Brady. Nine years, not two, not three, not four, nine, it's a decade, 82 and 98, one playoff win. And many of those years, bad. Not like, oh, but they lost a heartbreaker in week 17 and they just, no. no they drafted in top second this year, whatever it is, second, third. They were, they were terrible last year. To me, and the other aspect, and this is important, if you think it's too convenient to go right to the Brady, Belichick, you know, merit, like who mm. made whom if or whatever, the guy can't even construct a staff. He's making defensive guys, offensive guys. He is a mess the last few years, and I don't want him. I, I, I just can't even believe what I am hearing when you talk about Belichick. By the way, you don't think Belichick's a great head coach? Why don't you go ask Tom Brady what he says? And he's not going to lie about him. Mm-hmm. But Tom Brady became Tom Brady because of the Patriot way, because of Bill Belichick. By the way, go back to his coordinating days. He's a championship coordinator. I understand that. I mean, he might just very well be a coordinator. He, oh, I know that, that oh sounds absolutely God. insane. Sal, so, so if Tom Brady went there to is, Tampa and he was awful— 
you know, he won a Super Bowl. There's no better in-game. This guy's in the lottery every year without Tom Brady. There's, Stop. There's no better in-game tactician than Bill Belichick ever, period. End of story. Can we quantify Bingo. that? Serious question. How yeah, do we, how do yeah, we quantify yeah, that? Yeah, watch him. Let me I guess, because he knows the rule book as well yeah. as anybody. Great. Yeah. Let's quantify it. So he's the greatest in-game coach in the history of sports now. And I'm not even saying that you're absolutely wrong. I would push back, but... Can you back up that statement? I know it sounds grand. I, I don't really know what you mean by that. You need me because to... with Tom Brady, right. he's a great coach. Without Tom Brady, he gets his teeth kicked in. I, I, you, but you, he does. Again, I'll give you any coach that's ever walked the face of the earth in any sport. Take away their best player. What are they? That's okay, I, I get that part. I, I give you that a little but, bit. Okay, There's a okay, bit of a so concession that, there. That's one argument. Now, here's the other one. Who drafted the greatest quarterback and developed the greatest quarterback of all time? Which head coach? Well, that was the Patriots organization. And before you start going, because I know you have more. Oh, we know keep, the answer. Keep in mind, uh, if they loved them that much, they bypassed him in around five for a safety who never played and around four for an offensive lineman who basically stunk and was out of the league in two years. And oh, yeah, by the way, it's not like Belichick showed up and said, my God, look at this amazing talent we stumbled upon in round six. I'm sorry, Drew Blood, so you got to sit. No, Tom Brady would have collected dust for three years, and it would have been on Wall Street if the Jets, if Mo Lewis didn't basically break Drew Bledsoe into two. That is, that not is true. the only. It is. That's the only reason Tom Brady played. It wasn't like Belichick said, "Mike, okay, wow, I know we gave this guy a boatload of money, and generally you've got to acquiesce to the contracts, but what he's doing in practice is so impressive. I've got to sit the vet, and this kid's got the. It's his. It's the keys to his kingdom. He lucked into it. Let's deal with facts here. One team drafted him, one team developed him. That was one head coach, Bill Belichick. The other thing is, you're right. He made the decision to start, start Drew Bledsoe, right? It was the more accomplished quarterback. Then when Bledsoe came back that year and was healthy, Belichick also made the decision to stick with the young kid and won a Super Bowl, not because of Tom Brady, but because of the defense. And he's a defensive mastermind. So you can minimize Belichick all you want, and I don't think we're going to disagree on the fact that anybody would be an upgrade over what the Jets have. But they have a rare opportunity to where I would think initially there's no chance Belichick would even look at the lowly Jets. We know how he feels about the organization. Now, all of a sudden, he's desperate because he wants a job. He wants to get that record, all-time winning as head coach. He wants the coach. He said it. And the Jets need a head coach because they have the worst head coach in the league. And they are a win-now team. It's a perfect fit. If if they, And this is mm, – if they ever abruptly pivoted, and now they don't have the guts to even think about doing this. Let's call it the way it is. The Jets w- will not do this. And I don't want I don't want them to. I'll yell I don't and scream about it every single day. They they dude, do you want to win or not? Yes, but here's the issue. So, let's just say and I'm going to acquiesce to Sal for a moment. You know where I stand, but I'm I'm going to jump in alignment with with Sal for a moment here. So, wow, Belichick, nobody you know what? We got to go for it. Rodgers is 40. Let's give it a shot. Right. Okay. Let's say the Jets, oh, I don't know, don't win the Super Bowl again right. next year, right? Right, right? You know where you are? You're right back to where the Patriots were, an overrated head coach who cannot develop a young quarterback. But it fits, That's where you are, it, who feels old. Let's also say that. Pete Carroll's the same age. Pete Carroll projects young. I'm sorry. Bill Belichick feels old. It fits. He feels done. It fits their timeline. Doesn't fit my timeline. It, it, I don't want it. It's theirs. I don't, I don't want them. Then blow the whole thing I up and I, go with I, the young head coach different. and offensive coordinator. I, I'd be more impressive with go get Vrabel. No, but Chargers didn't are. want him. Panthers didn't want him. The Raiders didn't want him. The Titan, nobody those, wants those The Falcons same, don't want those, him. Those same, Why? Those same teams don't want Vrabel either. And also, they're not in the same situation as the Jets. Jets are in a peculiar spot here with Aaron Rodgers. I think it's a no-brainer to at least go do whatever you can to get a guy who now may be desperate to get back in. BT and Sal and the fan are friends at Town Fair Tire. Remind you that at Town Fair Tire, you always get the guaranteed lowest price on name brand tires from Connecticut to Maine. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Stefan is in Huntington. What's up, Stefan? Hey, how you guys doing? First time caller. Thanks for taking my call. Thanks for making it. What's awesome. Up? What's up, buddy? I just wanted to talk about Belichick and why he deserves to be on a roster, whether that's the Jets or any other team. I mean, they're talking about a guy who's been to almost 20% of all the Super Bowls that have ever existed. I mean, his track record speaks for himself, like you guys mentioned earlier. He did it with the Giants as a coordinator. He did it with the Pats. I just, I, I understand why a, a young team who's looking to the future wouldn't mm-hmm. want to take him. But a team like the Jets, you got nothing to lose. Why wouldn't you take this? Steve, guy? I because I, I think he's done. That's why I think he's I think the game is passed him by. That's why. 
You so don't, you don't I, think, I honestly do. I you, think he's. I think he's anti. I think his his concept. Not. Not. I don't want to say his defensive concepts. I don't know anything about his concepts in terms of like the minutia. Right. 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 But just his approach to modern football. I feel like it's passed him by. You don't think he would bring instant credibility and respect to an organization that has been a laughing stock basically since its inception? Well, yeah, of course. If there's a press conference and Belichick's there, yes, everybody's gonna be enamored with it for a moment. It's okay, not LOL great, fantastic. Jets. It's not SOJ. Well, it's yeah. the greatest head coach of all time uh-huh. with one of the great quarterbacks of all time yep. going to try to win a Super Bowl. No, I understand that, and I can see why it's appealing for some. It's not appealing for me because I also don't associate. This iteration of the Jets, while it's been wildly disappointing and I'm frustrated with everything that's transpired and I've gone back and forth with my degree of trust in in the GM, you know where I stand on the head coach, like the same old Jets and the laughing stock, that's that's not this team. This is not fake Spike. This is not Blair Thomas. This is not, you know, late hit Gastineau in 86. This it's it, that this is not three and thirteen and one and fifteen back to back with Kotite. This is this is a different pain because we told we're going to be good this year. To me, this is a hail mary for a guy who is trying to 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 chase down Shula and let him chase down Shula on somebody else's time. Bob is calling from Southern Connecticut. What's up, Bob? Hey guys, what's going on? First of all, uh, I want to say that I'm 100 percent on BT's side here. Sal, you're just a little nutcase. That's all, but that has nothing to do with it. But anyway, I'm, a, I'm a nutcase because um, I want the Jets to hire the greatest head coach of all time. Yeah, no, no, guilty. Said, it didn't have anything to do with it. Yeah. You're just a nutcase. That's all. But regardless, <laughs> no, listen, man, I like you. So I'm just breaking balls. So anyway, um, as far as Belichick goes, he's had, or I'll say, New York, uh, the New England Patriots have had more first, second, and third round picks under Belichick's tenure than any other franchise, and he's developed. Virtually nobody. Yeah, I mean, have the Patriots ever had a good receiver except Randy Moss? I mean, I mean and they drafted him. They've drafted him. So well, what happened to him? Why not? I think it even plays, and thanks for the call, Bob. I Thanks, think man. it even plays more to my point. He doesn't have to draft and develop here. He's got to win in the next two years. It's the perfect fit. You know you're going to get a guy who's going to know the X's and O's better than anybody else. It gives you an advantage on game day. You have the greatest quarterback that you could get with Aaron Rodgers right now. Obviously, you got to hope he stays healthy, but it's a non-starter anyway if he gets hurt again. You have a quarterback who's ready to win now and win a Super Bowl. That's the goal. You have a young defense that's you know, got some talent. You have, obviously, Garrett Wilson. You have a top draft pick. You don't need him to draft and develop. You need him to coach, and that's what he does best at. I wouldn't want him to run personnel and all that. I want him to coach. The crazy thing is, even though the Patriots have been borderline unwatchable the last couple of years, their defense is still really good. And they still don't win. With nothing. Uh, well, well, no, that's on defense. Minimal. Their, their I'm defense saying pretty good. Oh, 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 their whole right, line's they, better than the Jets. Oh, I I'm just saying he well. They don't have the talent that the Jets have. No, no, they don't. But defensively, I think it's wildly underrated. Like, their defense is is still really good. It's like, it's close to and, the Jets. Like and, the Pat, and he still can't win. One thing that gets overlooked is that you look at the wins and losses ultimately. I understand that. However, if you look at the talent disparity that the New England Patriots have had, however they've gotten there, they've had a significant talent disparity mm-hmm. for the last several years. And yet, in every single game, it seems... They are highly competitive. That is because the head coach and the X's and O's. He keeps them in games where they otherwise have no business being in games. And it's a stupid mistake by the uh, the ridiculous quarterback play. Somebody's fumbling the football. Whatever it may be, Bill Belichick has found a way to keep a team that nobody would argue has minimal talent in comparison to the top teams in the league, and yet they're always competitive. Uh, listen, I think there are certain coaches where that – that is an absolute strength, and and I think Tom Thibodeau's like that. By the way, sick win by the Knicks. We'll get to that yes. later a little bit. That was awesome. But I, I, and I'm not saying Thibodeau is that exactly like Bill Belichick. Belichick's obviously higher. He's won championships. See, but you know, I, and I don't want to minimize keeping things tight or having a team that's buttoned up and disciplined and competitive. That that oh, certainly God. Ma- that Imagine matters Roberts. to me. Yeah, it, it's no, the it complete does. opposite of what we have now with Salah. It really does matter to me, but I just cannot I, – I, I just can't divorce my mind from what, what I know about him. With Brady, he's better than Lombardi. Without Brady, eh, 
He's below 500. And I can't it's believe, I cannot believe that we're going to watch a Bill Belichick list NFL where he wants to get back in. Well, it's, it's going to be Bill Belichick list for a reason because I think most, most teams smartly see it the way I see it. Yeah. I mean, the Commanders, they don't want him. Seattle doesn't want him. Your team had 14 guys in. They didn't even show him a modicum of respect. Well, they, they, even had a sense. they interviewed him twice. They were the only one to interview him. They're yeah. smart for doing Well, if they were so smart, they'd hire him. You know, I mean, if, if they're going to subscribe to what you think. But they had 13 other guys. Like, they valued Bill Belichick so much that they dug different, into the process of bringing in 13 other people. Different circumstances. 13. Because he's the perfect fit. For what the jet, where the jets are. See, I don't think it is. I just don't think that he the is. Jets, I don't see are that. You, are you arguing that the jets are not all in the next two years with Aaron no, Rodgers? They, they have all a in. future. They they're, don't have a future. They're all court. in. They're all in. Okay, so if you're all in for the next two years, why not go all the way in and get a head coach who you know is this is not? Oh, maybe this coordinator might be something. Maybe Raheem Morris might be good. Maybe I don't Bobby, love the, Mar- maybe, the Morris hire. I, what's that? I don't love the Morris hire. Well, I, I actually do like it, but I'm saying any uh, Bobby Slowick, maybe he might be the I guy. Love maybe, it. maybe Ben Johnson might. Be the guy like love any co- pick a corner. Hire Vrabel. Yeah, yeah well, even him. It's incredible. He just got fired. Make man. a move for Harbaugh there, there, before he signed. There I is, mean, there is no unknown. You know what Bill Belichick is. You do, but there's two sides of the coin. You know what he is with Tom, and you know what he is without. And and arguably, he's got a, a more even at this point a more athletic quarterback. Then Tom Brady with Aaron Rodgers. BT and Sal on the fan just getting started on this Friday. We'll have Connor Hughes in studio. We'll talk some Jets and Giants coming up with him at 11 o'clock. We'll have our perfect parlay picks going into championship weekend. And your calls on the other side. 